We are presenting our work, Eye on Hand Reinforcement Learner for Dynamic Grasping with Active Pose Estimation. The objective of this research is to facilitate robotic grasping of an open set object within a dynamic environment. Here, the object is characterized by its ability to move freely in a six degree of freedom space and may be subjected to partial occlusion, such as by a human hand. The robotic system is tasked with continuously tracking the target object as it approaches. If the object exhibits rapid movement, the robot is designed to adapt by either maintaining a hovering position or retreating, thereby ensuring that the object remains within the field of view of the onboard camera. Extensive prior research exists on the subject of dynamic grasping, wherein either the environment or the object itself undergoes state changes. Many studies rely on external cameras for perception and are restricted to four degree of freedom grasping. Additionally, the object and environment are often assumed to be subject to minor alterations. There is also a line of works focused on predictive algorithms to anticipate object movement for more effective grasping. Our research aims to devoid of such assumptions to a more complete system. We've developed a framework that combines active tracking and reinforcement learning for six DOF dynamic grasping of unknown objects. Extensively tested in both simulated and real-world settings, our framework is compatible with various ion hand systems. The first component of our methodology focuses on pose tracking. Utilizing RGBD images, the system is designed to ascertain the pose of the target object throughout the entire operation. We start with bundle track method, but we make several augmentations on top of that to enable visual feedback as pose estimates for the dynamic grasping task. We employ a 2D object tracking algorithm to persistently track the object within a 2D image frame. Subsequently, a mask refinement technique is applied to enhance tracking accuracy and extract the mask from the bounding box. Feature extraction is then conducted on the RGB image in conjunction with depth information. These features serve as inputs for a pose estimation algorithm, which continuously predicts the object's pose relative to the initial frame. The focus of our investigation is the grasp pose, which is intrinsically linked to the pose of the object in question. To propose viable grasp poses, we employ a grasp network. Subsequently, we construct a grasp pose pool, a repository that stores multiple grasp candidates ranked by their respective grasp scores. The robotic system aims to approach the selected grasp pose, the choice of which may dynamically change based on its accessibility as determined by a heuristic function. Having established the ability to track the object and select an appropriate grasp pose, we employ a PPO algorithm to train a control policy for the robotic arm. This policy enables the arm to continuously track the object and execute a grasping action when the object either ceases movement or exhibits slow motion. We want to avoid grasping the moving object as a failure may damage the object or environment when its motion is random. The control policy is trained exclusively within a simulated environment. The reward shaping incorporates multiple factors including the distance between the object and the gripper, the object's centrality within the camera's field of view, and the distance between the grass pose and the gripper pose. We also designed the curriculum learning setups to gradually increasing the task difficulty and adapting the reward function design. More detail can be read in paper. Here are some clips showing our method can handle different object motion. Our method can work in a more complex setup, and this black wall also demonstrated why we need a camera on hand, as a static external camera may not see what is happening on the other side. We also tested our method on Canova robot arm, which has 7 degree of freedom, where the ER5 has 6. With limited system identification between simulation and real robot, Canova can still complete dynamic grasping. Among the limitations and failure cases of our methodology, one notable issue is the error in pose tracking. The object tracking algorithm we utilize is not specifically trained for our experimental configuration, leading to generalization errors for certain objects and consequent failure of the pose tracking module. Additionally, we observe policy-induced errors. In specific angular configurations, the policy ceases to approach the target. This may be attributable to either insufficient training or suboptimal reward function design. More details can be found in the paper. Thank you.